Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to create a very simple uh, drag and drop effect using the PyQt file library in Python. So here on my screen, I have a very basic uh, window application. Inside this application, I have two text boxes and a button. By creating a simple drag and drop effect, we'll be able to, so let me give an example. So we can write some text, and I can highlight this text, I can just drag this over, to another text box, where I can drag this uh, text and replace the, the button text with the text box value. Now let's get started. So to start, I'm going to import the system module and from the pyqt5.qt widgets module, I'm going to import the queue application and the queue widget, uh, queue push button, and the queue line edit classes. I'm going to start by creating the main module first. And here I'm going to construct my uh, queue application instance. All right, now that's for the setup. Now I'm going to create a class. I'm going to name this class uh, drag and uh, drop. I'm going to provide a queue widget class as the base class. And next, I'm going to provide a window title. Let's name this uh, application title drag and the drop. I'm going to I'm going to uh, change the size to maybe uh, 300 and uh, 150. So let me take a look. So I'm going to construct my uh, drag and drop class instance. And here I want to do demo dot show to show the uh, the application. Now if I just run the um, this uh, Python script, and here's our first uh, window application interface. And now let me close the window. Here I'm going to create a method called uh, init UI. And we're going to use this method to create our uh, widgets. So the first widget is the queue line edit widget. And we're going to set the default uh, text as, as empty string. And next, we need to enable the drag and drop effect for the edit one's uh, queue line edit object. And the method name is set drag enabled. And we want to set a setting to two. And let me move this to maybe to 20 and 30. Now here I'm going to uh, call the method. Now why launch the application? And this is what the, the UI looks like. So we have the, the our text box right here. And next I'm going to create another queue line edit widget. And this time I'm going to set the drag enable setting to false. And I'll move these to, oops, yeah, I forgot the two. And I'll move the, the widget to, uh, let's do 20 and 70. So that's left and the top value. And lastly, I'm going to, uh, actually, so I'm going to actually create a button, uh, a button class. So let's name this class button. And we're going to provide a queue push button class as the base class. And I'm going to require two parameters. So the first parameter will be the title. So that basically is the uh, push button caption and the parent object. Now within this uh, button class, so we're inheriting all the uh, attributes and the characters of this uh, Q push button class. So here we can use the self keyword to reference to, uh, to the Q push button class. And here I want to set the accept drop property to two. And from the Q push button object, there's a, a signal is called 
drag and enter events. And using this event, we'll be able to accept any uh, signal that the QPush button object receives. So here I'm going to use the if conditions and to say that if events uh, my type my data should not type uh, is a plain text. Then want to accept the signal. Otherwise, we're going to uh, reject the signal. And here we can uh, call the drop events. So here I'm going to just print the text uh, drop events. And I'm also going to uh, set the button text based on the signal text that we receive. So here we can use the events dot my data dot text. Now let's go back to the drag and drop uh, class. So here we're going to uh, construct button widget, except that we're going to use the button class to construct our uh, push button widget. So here I'm going to assign shortcut to uh, the B key. I'm going to uh, name the caption as a button. I'm going to assign self as the, uh, the base parent object. Now let me move the button to, let's do 190 and uh, 50. So let me just take a look. Oh, so here I made a typo, made a two, let me try again. So here I made, a, so here I made another typo, should be drops. Okay, now this is what the interface looks like right now. So we have two text boxes. Now if I type something uh, in the text box, the first text box, let's call this uh, text box one, and let's call this text box two in the push button. So if I highlight this, uh, the text inside text box one, if I just drag the text to the uh, text box two, and here because from our uh, drag and drop class, because we set the set drag enable uh, property to two, so we can actually be able to drag the text inside the text box one. Now, if I drag the text to the button, now here you can see that uh, if we go back to the button class, the drag enter event will fire first to check whether or not if the signal data type is a text. And if the signal type is not a plain text, then it's, it's going to ignore the signal but otherwise it's going to accept the, the signal. And once the signal is accept, and the drop event will fire, and this event will receive the, the signal. So in this case will be the um, MIME data and followed by the uh, text attribute. And using the set text method, and we'll be able to replace the button caption based on the signal that we receive. So in this case will be the hello uh, signal. Now, if I type something uh, like goodbye, now if I try to drag the text in uh, text box two, and so here because we set the uh, drag enable to false, so uh, as you can see that uh, I'm I'm not able to do so with the text box two. So that's everything for this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.